so much for trusting me to read for you. Today I'm going to be reading the reading about being single. So there are 10 questions and then I do uh, bonus cards at the end. So there are going to be three bonus questions that we talk about like energy and what you should meditate about and what you could journal or talk to a therapist about. I'm really sorry if the camera is wiggly. I uh, The camera I normally use broke, <laughs> so I'm using my laptop because I really wanted to get this out to you. So the first thing that I'm going to do is pull just some thank you cards for letting me read for you. So it says, may you heal your heart from pain in the past. So that was thank you card number one. And then thank you card number two says, may you run towards your own success. I think it's very interesting that I feel this energy of like leaving the past in the past and like seeing what can happen in the future. So <clears throat> question number one, am I single for a reason? Number two, will I always be single? Number three, is being single good for me? Is being single good? You don't feel like it is. <laughs> Four, is there anyone who has a crush on me? Give me one second. I'll kind of order. And then five is a tarot card, which will be what should I do while I'm single? What should I do while I'm single? What should I do while I'm single? Actually, where did I go? Okay. Card number one. Are you single for a reason? Yes. And I feel that it is for you to get the help that you need with your own growth. I feel that your spirit guides have kind of learned and have seen that the best way for you specifically to get the like knowledge that you need while you're growing is to be single. So I feel that you asked for help with being able to be in a really good relationship and you want that. And I feel that your guides know that right now you need to be single so that you can grow in what you need to have in order to be in the relationship that you want to be in. Card number two, will I always be single? No, <laughs> it's just not time. I love how synchronicity happens when you're using cards and like the cards that are printed answer your exact question. I don't feel that you'll always be single, but I do feel that it is not time for you to be in a relationship right now. And I do feel that you know that. I feel that sometimes... Um, you're almost feeling this like hopeless energy like if they haven't come yet and I haven't had my great love I probably won't have it and I feel that your guides really want you to know that it's just not time yet it's not that you are never going to have it or that there's no one there for you some of these thoughts that you have been having lately then card number three is being single good for me this is showing as no. So currently the way you are like acting or interacting while you're single is not helping you, which that was why your guides want you to be single because they want you to get help. So what I really feel is <clears throat> uh, when you're worried about being single, you're kind of talking to everybody about it. So you're like consulting Cosmo and doing the quiz and talking to your friends and watching pick a piles and <laughs> like doing all these things where you're really, instead of following your own intuition and following your own sense of like what you want and what you need, you're using all of these other venues, other avenues, other modalities. And I really feel that your guides want you to start checking in with them. I feel that meditation is going to be very, very beneficial for this. I do feel that that's actually going to be one of the things you have in common with the person that you meet for the relationship. I feel that meditation will not only bring them to you, it'll also be the thing that kind of like keeps you together. So start a practice with meditation because it's going to be a really big piece of the relationship part of your life. 
So then card number four, is there anyone who has a crush on me? <laughs> I think it's really interesting that they're like, no, this is time for your growth. This is time for your growth. This is time for your growth. Like, so we can grow in relationships, but more often than not, when we grow by ourselves, we grow a lot faster because we're able to like, move any obstacles, see any obstacles, whereas a lot of times when we're trying to create something with another human, uh, sometimes it can get a little bit convoluted, like whose energy is creating this, who believes this, and I feel that this is the time when you are not supposed to be in a relationship the way you're doing it. You're needing to focus completely on you and what you need to grow and what you need to change and what you need to learn. So then card number five, what should I do while I'm single? This is, show, well, this is beautiful. This is showing us the strength card. You're supposed to be getting stronger. This is about self-control and self-love and confidence. Also, sometimes it can have to do with good health. I feel that you have things about yourself that you don't like. And so you feel that other people won't like them. I feel that that's actually what has like stopped you from being in some relationships in the past. You've kind of like worried about how that person would judge you for the thing that you have determined is like unattractive. So then let's go ahead and we'll do the next five cards and then we'll do the bonus. So card number six blocks to a relationship. These are all going to be tarot, I'm pretty sure now. Yes, the next five cards are tarot cards. Card number six, what is blocking them from a relationship? You know what, I'm going to put that strength card back in here because it's the only card that's not in here and I want you to get all of them, so let me shuffle a little bit. <clears throat> blocks to a relationship for this person. Uh, what do they need to shift? What do they need to shift? Um, okay, so I'm sorry. This is what is or blocks to a relationship, then things that are blocking you just in general. I apologize. I missed the differentiation between those two. And then card number nine is just going to be some more insight for me to kind of give insight into the situation. And then card number 10 is the same. All right. So then card number six blocks to a relationship. This is showing as the reverse emperor card. So the reverse emperor is about some immaturity it's about some things needing to mature so if you think about like a fine wine like it has to get to the point where it's mature enough for us to like drink it also it's really weird but i was just reminded of those um cracker commercials with the cheese like is the cheese ready and then the cheese is like sassy and they're like not ready so you're kind of like that you're in this stage right now and I feel like that's why like you're supposed to be asking for help because there's some areas where you're not fully developed yet and your guides really want to help you with that because you need to be fully developed in those areas in order to be properly prepared for a relationship so then things that are blocking you for your life in general, this is showing as the star card. So when the star card is upright, it's about inner clarity. I feel that you are not paying attention enough to your own guides. Your, um, <clears throat> and don't get me wrong, I'm really glad that I get to read for you. But I think that's where some of your confusion is coming in. Like one person says one thing. And then another reader will say another, and you are taking it as two different stories. But what's actually happening is when a reader reads for you, they are reading the current energy. They're reading like what's happening right now because the future doesn't exist yet. So think about um, a movie where people go back in time, like Back to the Future, where... 
they went back and they made one change and it changed the whole entire rest of the movie. Well, that's kind of what's happening. Choices that you're making right now are going to make a whole different outcome. So let's say that you're supposed to meet someone when you go to the gym, but that day you decide, you know what, I don't care about the gym and I hate, you know, doing things for myself. And then you don't go, you don't meet that person, you don't follow your intuition. Well, that now the whole storyline's different. So our storyline changes as we make different decisions. So sometimes you're making decisions and they're pointing you in the way of this person you're looking for, but then sometimes you're making decisions and they're pointing you in this other way. The problem is you're following what other people are saying rather than your intuition. And so some of these things that you're discouraged about are what other people have said. They don't even match your intuition, but you find yourself feeling like sad and depressed because of what a tarot card reader said or like a, a general reading said, oh, you'll be single or you know, you're doing something wrong and your intuition doesn't match any of that. So then let's find out um, what we could shift or what you could shift. This is showing as the reverse 10 of wands. So the reverse 10 of wands is about freedom. It's about taking a break. I feel like what you're doing a lot of is um, trying to manifest a, a person. Like you're doing a lot of energy work, but what's happening is because you have so many conflicting things, you're not on one steady path. This is what I want. Here we go. So like I saw this person the other day on TikTok and they were like, you know, they always say don't find somebody who moves mountains for you, you know, don't expect that. But um, but then the person was like, consistency is what builds up to that mountain moving. Erosion, rain, animals, humans, all changing that landscape. <clears throat> so all of those pieces come into play. So it's time for you to stop trying to make the path happen. Uh, to be in a specific, even kind of relationship. If you tell the universe something as simple as, I'm ready for the relationships that come into my life that I know are going to be for my highest good and bring me to bliss. I'm ready for the people who are going to come in my life and support me and love me and be here for me in a way that I need. So what that will do is it broadens. So right now you're like, I would like a love partner who has red hair to the shade of this color, who has the exact dollar amount in their bank account, who, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just too specific. So you need to broaden your request to the universe and have it be more along the lines of, please bring the right people. Please have me be in the right place at the right time. And then you're going to start following instead of trying to control. So then the next Tarot Insight card, this is beautiful. This is showing as the Ace of Swords. This is about new ideas. This is about mental clarity. I feel that having that idea of like opening up what you're creating, opening up what you're asking the uniform, the uni I almost said the unicorn for, <laughs> the universe for, um, like opening up to those aspects of things that maybe there are such good things that you don't even know how to ask for them. So the universe isn't really moving you forward because you're asking for the old things you wanted. And if you can start opening up and just broadening what you ask for. So instead of saying like, I want, okay, so this is how I kind of figured this out. The universe, if I say to the universe, I would like a button. Very easy. I'd probably have a button fall off my shirt or I'd fall up, find a button in the parking lot. But if I said, I want the button to the pants that Neil Armstrong wore when he was in a rocket on the moon on Tuesday, I want that button. Okay, well now my chances, my intuition, it's going to take a little bit more. I'm going to feel like it's rare. I'm going to feel like it's very hard to find. And I feel like in some ways that's kind of what you're doing to romance. Because you feel that you want someone so special that you'll hardly maybe never find them. 
as opposed to saying, I want to see love all over my life. I want to see people at Starbucks be nice to me. I want to see when I call and talk to a customer service representative, I want to see them think that I'm a great customer and they're happy to talk to me. So then you're going to start seeing it left and right. Right now you're not seeing this like love that you're looking for because you have kind of told the universe that it's this one tiny little possibility. Now, you're shortchanging yourself. You're telling yourself it's this one tiny little possibility when there are literally millions of possibilities. Like there could be, I feel like you have this list of like things that you want. There could be one thing on this list that stops you from finding like your, your actual perfect person because instead of asking the universe, hey universe, you know what? I feel like you know me well enough for you to bring me what I need. As opposed to like, do you see these 27 things, universe? If I don't have this, it's not the person. And I'll know if it's the person if they match, match this whole list. So you've kind of like shot yourself in the foot a little bit because you're trying to really create. And yes, you absolutely could. Absolutely. You could have the person who is on your list potentially does exist. Absolutely. You created them in your thought. And so eventually one day you maybe possibly could come across the path. But it'll be much easier to say, I'm open to all of the authentic love that I can handle. I'm waiting and accepting and here to receive all of the love that will make my life feel like what I have been missing. So then the last tarot card, which is more uh, tarot. Oh, this is so pretty. This is the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is about your wishes coming true. I do feel that if you were to look at that list of things that you have, there's a reason that you put those things on the list. Some of the reasons that you put the specific things on the list is because someone else hurt you. So now your love list is coming from a place of hurt and pain rather than I want to experience what this wonderful experience will be. So some of it is also about kind of like what you're wishing for. Wish for something that you haven't experienced. Wish for something that is so amazing, so beautiful that you can't even put it into words and you can't wait till your guides lead you to the place that takes your breath away and that leaves you speechless. Speechless means I can't pick the words to describe this situation because I've never had this situation, so the words that I need to describe it don't even exist for me yet. There are things that are coming for you, wishes that can be made true for you, but I feel that broadening your wish list is going to get you what you actually want a lot faster. All right, so then we're going to do three energy cards. and. These energy cards are for shifting the energy. <laughs> um, these are also the bonus cards. So all of my readings come with bonus cards. So you can use these for um, meditation, like you can meditate on the word, or you can use it for journaling. You could journal about how the word makes you feel. Um, or you could talk to a counselor about how those words made you feel. But let's pull some of these and see what's going on when it comes to you being single. So focus on this strategy. So I also, like this card to me, the energy is like feeling what your past experiences were like and making different choices, but not based on the fear. Make the different choice based on I want a whole different experience. So that's what you need to focus on. And then let go of this cornucopia. This is very interesting because a cornucopia is this um, little basket right here. And when they would harvest, they would put all of the best fruits in there and they would make an offering to the gods. So I feel that the reason that you need to let go of this is because you need to like release it as in when you look at a balloon, we release it, we let it go, and it can go in the air. Sedona!
Sorry, sometimes she just needs to meow and yell, I guess. She's looking for Avery. <laughs> so what I feel that um, with this, you have a lot of really good characteristics and a lot of really good qualities. I feel that you're like a good cook and you like to do things for people, but you really hold back because you're like saving it for this special person. And I really feel led that when you start opening up and sharing special things with people who you're not looking for a relationship from them, you're going to meet people vicariously and through that experience, you specifically. So then the third card is journal about this. This is beautiful. Journal about victory. What does it feel like for you? So it's really interesting too. Wow, this is really interesting. Your guides just pointed this out to me. I've never had this thought before. So as a single person, you're not failing. Victory does not mean relationship. Wow, I can feel you and I can feel this in your energy. I feel like this is going to shift a lot of things for you. Not being in a relationship is not a sign that you failed to be in a relationship. Being in a relationship does not mean victory. Being married does not mean victory. Having commitment is not victory. It is just an experience. And I feel that sometimes what's happening with your singleness is you're putting a stamp of failure on it. And I feel that your guides really want you to know, hey, you can't say, oh, being in a committed relationship is victory and being single is failure because we're never going to be able to move on. We're never going to be able to give you another experience until you've completed this experience in which you learn that you are amazing and loved and powerful, whether you are single or in a relationship that is committed because that attachment to the other person does not place an amount on your value. All right, well, thank you so much for trusting me to read for you and I look forward to reading for you again.